watching um, Looking for Comedy on the BBC iPlayer and I watched a documentary by the brilliant uh, Irish comedian Dave Allen, who I love, and he did a documentary on English eccentrics. And as part of that, there was the um, singer, songwriter, Ivor Cutler, and uh, who I think um, uh, some of you might have heard of, quite obscure, but I've got a cult following, I think. And uh, his, him and his wife or girlfriend, there's footage of them, they used to go to London Zoo every day and just go people watching. And uh, the camera footage on, on the documentary shows them sat on a bench in front of a flamingo pool. And um, the, pa the camera pulls away and pans out and you can see that they're on a bench in front of a flamingo pool. And then it closes in on her artwork that she's, she's drawing, sketching. And instead of doing the obvious, uh, thing of drawing the flamingo, she's um, drawing the railings around the flamingo pool, and I thought that's that's a real artist. That's a sign of someone who's looking at things differently, looking at noticing something amazing and beautiful in its own way, not doing the picture postcard thing of doing the flamingo uh, pool. Which is the obvious. Uh, so this song is uh, really let's go for a walk. Uh, really about that. Uh, it was inspired by that, and I wrote the title, uh, Why Aren't You Drawing the Flamingos, um, on my calendar. Again, I might come back to that one day. Um, now, if you're an artist, and uh, I mean, I tend to have a big backlog of, of songs that I've never recorded and I never performed live, uh, which makes me sad, really. And. Uh, this album has a lot of stuff that was in part of that backlog and on the back burner for recording one day, hopefully, maybe. And uh, whereas Flamingos is different because um, I was due in the studio the next day to do some recording, and uh, that night I just just bashed out the first thing that came into my head and first thing that came into my hands, and I looked at the calendar and saw, uh, for, you know, why why aren't you drawing the flamingos? which is what Ivor Cutler said to his girlfriend and wife, and made a little there and then. Straight away, this little ditty came out. In the studio itself, I just didn't remember Dan Logan, the um, uh, producer, and he played drums and all sorts on the album. Uh, we both sat there and said, after we just did a basic take on it, just guitar and vocals and a bit of percussion, and both looked at each other and said, it needs something else, it needs something else. And at that point, Dan, hello again, uh, Dan kind of rushed off into the darker recesses of the studio and uh, was rummaging furiously and came up with uh, um, a banjo and hence the little banjo thing that he that Dan plays on the track. So uh, that's it, Flamingos. Um, I hope you like it. If you do like it, please consider buying the uh, CD because that might mean I've got a whole bunch of other songs that I want to release and that might go on CD as well if I can afford it but I can't afford it if you don't buy my music enjoy Strange people sitting on a bench, contemplating but never tense. Just sitting watching the shufflings of a human zoo. And then one of them says, Well, we're all of us just earthworms in a compost heap. Just trying to make some kind of sense of things. And sometimes we can be glowers.
our dreams The cones blur but the water is deep And when you wake, all wonder is crushed by bureaucracy We're all of us here by some beautiful accident Time to wave a flag and set a precedent So then we can reach high 